This is just a quick look at how I've sorted my Lego. It might help you seeing how I've done it. I think there's lots of videos out there of people who've got massive Lego rooms or loads of those tiny little storage boxes. And for most people, that's not really applicable. So this is how I've sorted mine. It might help you, it might not, but um, this is this what I've done and it has worked for me. I think the first thing you have to remember is if you're sorting out your Lego, you're doing it for yourself. So only you have to understand the system. So there's not one way of sorting things. It's basically do it in a way so you know where things are, where things are meant to go and how you're gonna sort it out. So you can see how I've done it, but you might do it differently with some other sort of things. So I mean, my Lego is sorted basically into these two big IKEA units. This drawer, as you can see, full of, I took on that piece, full of unsorted Lego. So there's a random stuff in there I just haven't got around to sorting because sorting Lego takes ages. Here you can see I've got another shoebox there full of some old sets, half built. But most of my Lego is in these. Here, more boxes of stuff, half built models there, which I'm intending to rebuild, some track, a few brick separates. That's where I'm currently keeping my trained uh, stuff. But anyway, these two units, I think the one left called it Alex, can't remember what the one on the right is called. Um, that's where I keep the stuff. So the train stuff currently I'm sticking in there. Any of the big train parts or wheels or controllers. But this is where the actual small pieces go. Now, is my system top shelf, top drawer, uh, minifigures. I'm using these boxes, which are also from Ikea, which are very useful. So up here you can see minifigures go in this big one. Easy to find and look through. And the minifigure accessories I'm keeping here. Now I'm classing barrels and little crates as minifigure accessories. In my head I know what the minifigure accessories are. You might want to classify these somewhere differently, but for me I know where to find those bits. And then look, you've got a little life jacket there. And next to them, this box, I'm putting all plants, animals, and food. So if I'm looking for stuff, I know where it is. Look, there's loads of bananas and a snake. The next drawer down here, tiles. This is a big box. You can see any smooth pieces, or whether they've got studs on top, but mainly smooth, I keep in there. A box full of jumper plates, so they're easy to get hold of. And then another bag full of the grates. And in front of them, this is where I put all what I class as curved pieces that are smooth, so no studs on top. I mean, you can see this, you've got the studs, but when it's in a model, the studs are hidden. So basically smooth curves, and in here there's printed pieces. You can see I've not got many printed pieces just lying around. An old vintage Octan. Um, so yeah, so, so far, I know where I'm looking for these parts. The next drawer, here I've got curved pieces with studs on top. And I mean, they're curves, slopes, a lot of different pieces thrown in there because I'm not going to sort these out into individual tiny drawers. I know if I need a piece like this, I know where to look for it, basically. And in this drawer, I just put round bits. So, you know, classic sort of the round, two by two rounds, but also the little, the single stud round pieces and cones. And then here, I've just got a stack of these sort of bigger, bigger bricks. This drawer, I'm just sorting out because these are quite useful to have the one one wide plates. You can see I've sorted them in these boxes roughly. In this box you've got the random ones, like the L-shaped ones, the ones with grips on and so on. But basically if I'm looking for a piece like this, oh then here you can see all just the transparent pieces. And here you've got, you know, one wide but proper brick sizes and one by two and they're not sorted too detailed, but I know roughly where I'm looking. If I need to find an arch piece, I know they're in there. Here you've got a piece of one by two where the different, um, you know, like the bumpy ones and so on. A drawer full of Technic. All the Technic's just thrown in there. If I'm, looking, I'm not really into Technic. But if I'm looking for Technic, that's where it is. One day I might sort it out further. Just some random set here. And these drawers at the bottom, I can just, yeah, currently just a few instructions are thrown in there. But that's eventually where this more of this stuff's going to get sorted into. And then across the other drawer, plates. Now these are all plates, apart from the one, well, oh, Jeffrey from the Toys R Us. Apart from the one wide plates, every other plate I just throw in here. I've not got time to sort these out. At one point I was trying to sort them out into individual shapes or sizes, I mean individual sizes or the colours, but if I'm building something I can just generally look through there and find what I'm wanting pretty quick. And here just an old set of, again, more space I've not yet sorted into because it just takes that long. More Lego still got to sort out. At the bottom is the big drawer I showed at the beginning, just full of Lego. So I mean, I think the, the thing to get from that is a system where I can find the bits I need, 
but also it takes so long to do I've just not got around to sorting out loads of it there's loads of track in that box and there's those sets again I've also got these now this the 2x2 two two is full of 2x2 two two bricks you don't seem to get these larger bricks like 2x2 two two and 2x4 two that much in sets anymore it's more small pieces I find here I use 2x4 and then any sort of longer bricks few, you know, thick base plate there and the same with this one so if I'm needing bigger bricks like this, sometimes to fill out a build for building high, or I just want to use these for building something, I know where to look. So that's how I've roughly sorted out my Lego. So when it comes to me building something, I can generally find the piece I need reasonably quickly. I would recommend getting one of these trays also from Ikea. This video is not sponsored by Ikea, why it would be. And this is what I basically use. If I'm going to build something, I can go to those drawers, find the bits I need, stick them in this, and get building. The other thing about sorting your Lego out is that it, it never ends. Once you've sorted it all out and got it neatly organized in drawers, you'll end up building something and have more Lego that you've used you know, to resort out and put back. Having a system that you understand yourself is gonna make it much easier in you know, putting Lego back in the right place. So I think that's the main thing to get from it. There's lots of these videos, and this one included, showing you how people sort their Lego, but in the end of the day, at the end of the day, you just need to have it right in your head where stuff goes, so you know if you're looking for something, or if something needs to go back, you know where it goes. No one else needs to understand it. It's not a universal system or a way of doing things. Just do it in a way that you understand. Um, maybe this has helped you in some way, maybe not. But this is how I do it, and it has helped me. It's annoying and hard work to sort out, but once I've had it done, I find it much easier now when it comes to actually building something with Lego.